What is up, ladies and gentlemen? My name is Lumile Maindi. Welcome to the Iron Heart Podcast, the podcast about film, TV, and all things TV production and marketing. Okay, so in today's episode, I'm going to be talking about pitching a TV show to a TV network, to a TV broadcaster as a film producer. Okay, I recently had an opportunity to pitch a TV show to a TV broadcaster. This was the SABC. It's a South African broadcaster. I pitched a show that was worth 3.5 million in terms of budget. And it was a really, really exciting and insightful experience. Okay. So um, I'm a producer. I run my own company. I work for other bigger production companies, but I also pitch a lot. Okay. So what happened is uh, last year I had to I was working on a lot of pitches for a lot of shows, some documentaries, some reality shows, some scripted content, and I pitched a lot of content to a lot of broadcasters, okay? So uh, I pitched a lot of content to MultiChoice, and I pitched a lot of content to the SABC. So what was really, really interesting is that, you know, when you pitch, I know a lot of people have TV show ideas, they usually have one or two. I think it's best to try to come up with a new TV show every week if you are a serious content producer and pitch as many times as as you want because you never know which show is going to be picked up and then even when you pitch that idea never goes away you know and yes there's the whole idea of like oh what if they steal the idea well you know what if that happens it happens you know what I always think is like I've got so many ideas I don't care what happens I just want to pitch so I can get my first show picked up anyway so what happened is I pitched a lot last year I pitched like 15 shows uh, together with my interns and finally uh, the SAPC had a call out. They wanted TV shows, and I s- submitted like five or six concepts to them. And I got called in. They were like, "You know what? We like a concept. We'd like you to pitch to us to all the TV execs and stuff like that." So the channel that reached out to me was SAPC One, and they reached out and they first asked for a budget. So when when they requested a budget, um, I had to. Uh, scramble and get the help of a producer to help me make a better budget so I got a producer and I paid this producer like 3.5 or 3,000 rand to help me with a budget I mean I already pitched and sent a pitch deck with a like rough budget but I thought I just need to get more help from a bigger producer so that I can make a bigger budget like a more accurate budget for the show so I paid this person and they helped me create like a more realistic budget to make the show feasible you know so after that I reworked my pitch deck so just like not really changing the concept but like fleshing it out making it um making it uh more um prettier making it more you know like expanding on the things that i've spoken about in the, in, the, in the pitch deck so obviously my pitch deck had like the log line the concept the synopsis the format of the show it also had like which presenters we would possibly have on the show we had a marketing plan a reason why this channel this show will work on the channel we were also saying um, why we think it's great, which who's a target market, why it's right for that channel. And I just like sprucing up the presentation and then working on it, okay? We also had to work on a scissor reel for the show, but I never ended up playing the scissor reel because we just ran out of time, okay? But um, so finally, uh, I think they gave me an email and then I had to pitch like three weeks later or a month later. So the, as, as the days were leading up to the pitch, I was busy making the pitch pity, you know, making it better, you know, practicing the pitch, and finally the day of the pitch came. And we had to pitch, and it was like on our Zoom, it was like an online thing, and luckily I had practiced the pitch multiple times so that, you know, I could be convincing and be confident. And then when I was about to pitch, um, in the room, in the virtual room, there was like five to ten people that I had to pitch to, which was a little nerve-wracking, but I mean, because I practiced, I knew what I was going to do. So I pitched a concept, I have like 20 minutes to pitch, and I have 20 minutes for questions. Even when I was practicing, I timed my pitch to make sure like my pitch is like 20 minutes. So I pitched the show, um, 
and they really liked it. And then after 20 minutes, they asked me questions. They asked me more about the show. They asked me about the budget. They asked me about which present, like, you know, they asked more information about the picture, even though they read it and they heard it, they asked more questions. And it was a really great experience. Unfortunately, the show didn't get picked up, but I think it was a really great experience. And it was just like an enlightening process. And it was like really crazy, like after pitching so many things and you only get called in for one thing, you know, it just shows good to, whenever you're pitching, you must always pitch multiple concepts and then just make it a constant thing. And, it, and this is something that I picked up from working for bigger production companies that realize they pitch all the time. One of the biggest production companies that is like a client of mine, they pitch so many times and they've got so many shows and they're so big, you know. So that's something that I wanted to adopt as a production company owner and a producer. And that's something that I, I just thought I would do. And like now, what's great is I have all these concepts. I can always pitch them to different broadcasters. Now the market is coming, I can still pitch the shows there. The Durban Film Market is coming, I still pitch the shows there to different broadcasters and international broadcasters. Um, but yeah, it was a really enlightening experience. It also just shows you, to, you must never give up. You know, it's also like a step in the right direction, I think. I think it was a really, really cool experience. Um, and if you want to know more, you can drop comments. Uh, let me know if you want me to talk more about more pitches. Have you pitched your broadcaster? Um, and then I have something special for you guys. So if this video gets a thousand views or it gets like 50 comments, I will drop uh, my template for a TV show budget and you guys can have it and check it out. I'll also drop my pitch deck in the, in, in, the, in the video below and then you guys can also check it out. But only if I only get a thousand views or 50 comments. So one of the two. So as soon as we get 50 comments or a thousand views, I will drop my budget so you can check it out and see how you can make a budget for a TV show. This is a reality TV show for 3.5 million. So you can just see the breakdown. So if you one day want to pitch to a broadcast in South Africa, you kind of know what to do and you have like a, a bit of a way to go about it, you know, and I'll also drop my pitch deck so you can check it out, the format and all of that stuff. But only if I get a thousand views or 50,000 comments. Anyway, hope you guys liked this video. Hope you find it insightful. Hope you learned something. And if you did, drop a comment, hit the like button, hit the bell button so you can be notified every time I drop a new video. If you're listening to this on a podcast, whether it's Spotify or iTunes, please rate us or drop a comment. We'd really, really appreciate it. And if you think this video is going to be helpful to someone else, share the video. Let your friends know and let them watch and let them comment. Until next time, guys, I will see you in the next video. Peace out.